back to my channel, it's your boy D Dyson. Dune 2, just watched it, I loved it. Everything about this movie, um, it's it's really regarded as, you know, my top one, two um, movies, anticipated movies of the year, if you want to go back and check that out. But um, the fact that the cinematography in here, we can start with, we'll start with there first. The cinematography in here, the visuals, Everything about this looks stunning. The world building, how it looks, you're out in the desert. And I'll say this for, again, you know, throughout my reactions is that, you know, Star Wars pulled from Doom. So that's why you got Tatooine. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of resemblance as far as what takes place here. And we get the understanding of why the Harkonnens is, is all about trying to take over Arrakis is because they're sent by the High Lord. You know, so now it's kind of, you look at it like you have that struggle and the Harkonnen as a people with uh, Freed, whatever Austin Butler's uh, character is. And I was telling myself, he played a very good job. Man, that dude was, just, it was, I wish they would have showed more of his cruelty and his psychopathic uh, elements to him. Um, because it, it reminds me of the Game of Thrones element of like uh, Ramsey and uh, Joffrey. So it's like the psychotic, you know, going to be leader type of person that will win it, stop at nothing, that type of person. And I like what he did there. And and when you get to Timothy Chalamet, I felt like he got it, man. That man, he, he if, if Dune 1 didn't surprise people, that he is really a movie star. This cements him in Hollywood legacy as he's in there. I promise you. It's a mixture of Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, and a lot of Johnny Depp. And and to carry over and do his thing, that he commands scenes. And I'm just like, he got it in this. This is this is his Mona Lisa, but he has such a young career. You know, so I'm telling myself he did a very good job. Zendaya, very good job because the actors is going to act Javier Bardem. Mwah! Perfect casting. Perfect casting with Javier Bardem. And just seeing how this visually, I can never get that enough. The story was, was easy to follow along. It was slow in some parts and, and fast in other parts. But it's easier than the first because everyone who ever watched the first is like, that. that is my going to sleep movie. I can watch Dune and I'm guaranteed to go to sleep. This, a lot more action. Batista, you know, as far as his assault raid, everyone over that, it, it keeps up the action because it's, it's more war. So I'm just telling myself, I like it. I really, really like it. Um, I feel like this is a comparison of a lot of people is anticipating Dune 3 and this can be compared to Lord of the Rings, you know, because it was that, that the first one, it was a slow burn, but you understood, you know, that was a more of an understanding of the story. Part two, Two Towers was, you got a lot more action. I feel like with Dune 2, you got a lot more action, and then Dune 3 is going to finish the story, but we're going to get a lot more action of wrapping everything up. Um, the only thing about this, the only gripe, the only one gripe I have about this is that they didn't let Paul Atreides um, go through much of a sacrifice or, or, or struggle to become like the one. Like he just, soon it was just very, very fast. It was rapid. And, you know, he drank this. He woke up. He was like, yeah, he's like, he's proving miracles. And that's why Zendaya is, is pissed off at him. Like, who do you think you are? You think you're just this, this guy? Like, I know the real you type of person. But once he drinks it, now he's like, no, I think I am. So I'm just kind of like, he didn't go through enough to really be the leader of the people. He could have went, I feel like he, we could have really went through this whole movie and then up to the build up to the end. I feel like we would have really made like, okay, yeah, he's that guy. And went even, but like I said, that's the only gripe. I love that everybody still like lived in here other than Batista, you know, spoiler alert. But um, I, I thought Javier Bardem's character and Josh Brolin's character was definitely going to be like, so I think they're going to be those old war dogs and the last one to give it more of an emotional feel. But with this, um, the last the last part of this, the one-on-one -on -one battle between Timothy Chalamet and Austin Butler, mwah, 
I felt like it could have been a lot more struggle in there where they both were getting like licks, like, oh my gosh, like really a real fight to the death, but this was a good fight. I had, you know, palm sweating, anxiety, like who's going to win it? Like, man, I'm like, okay, yeah, this was a good fight. So that's why I tell myself this brought it home to make this a really good movie. Man, I give this a 9.5 out of 10. Like I said, it, you know, it's, as long as it is, it's two hour, I think, you know, clocked in at two hour and 45, two hour and 46 minutes that you could have spent that time on showing everyone Paul Atreides is the one. Like, you know, he has the desert names. We, he rides the, uh, the, the sandstorm. I felt like he could have struggled a little bit more and all that, but I was that was still a dope scene that he got the biggest one, like the grandfather, like they were like he made peace with it. I was kind of like, so now they get to ride the sandstorms, but it just it just I just felt like he should have had a, a lot more struggle to be a freedman. Um, and leading up to that, then I would have probably made Zendaya like, okay, yeah, you might got you may be the one that type of thing. So I like it. I can't wait to watch this again. This is definitely going to be you know, I feel like. We have a lot of movies out this year, but this is definitely going to be movie of the year. Um, it, it to me, it's it's so synonymous with Oppenheimer, you know, but a lot more action. Like this is cinema, this is cinema. So if you guys enjoyed my review of Dune Part Two. Subscribe to my channel, post a comment down below, and like the video. It's your boy D Dyson. Peace.